Welcome back to the channel. In today's Plants with Shorts video, we're going to talk about Excel integration and how you can basically export whatever you've taken off in Plants with to an Excel spreadsheet where you can further manipulate, add formulas, and do other really cool stuff that's really not great for doing in Plants with. So the first thing you want to make sure of is that you have Excel integ integration set up. So you're going to need to go into your settings directory. And on the left, you'll see an advanced tab at the bottom. So uh, click on that. And it says enable Excel integration and disable Excel integration. Now, if you had Excel installed or Microsoft Office installed when you installed plans with, it should have automatically done that. If you're having difficulties integrating with Excel, I would recommend clicking on the Disable Excel Integration, quit Plan Swift, come back in, and then click on Enable Excel Integration and see if that works. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is change your layout to what you want to see in Excel. So I will usually go on the default and create a new layout, and you can create as many layouts as you want to. And we'll just call this A-T-L-E-S-T -E for short. And it basically kind of copies the layout that's already there. Let's say I want to have something else on there that is in, that PlanSwift is keeping a quantity on, but it's not showing on this layout. Uh, it's real easy to do if you follow one, if you, if you remember one simple step. You need to know the name of the field you want to add before you try to add it, and I'll show you why. So we're going to go into, we're going to click on Columns, and we see that's not there. So we click on the plus button, and unfortunately, PlanSwift doesn't have a pull down feature to basically go back in and find what you're looking for so you don't have to name it. You'll have to name it. So I uh, simply, where it says, it's actually added a name, new column, and I'm going to replace that with removal space open parentheses, CF, close parentheses, just like it's spelled. And I'm going to change it from text to number, because it's a number field. And I'm going to show, I'm, I want it to show the units. I'm going to click on that. So once I do that, I need to click on the power button here, or it's not going to add it. It's kind of like the save button. So when I do that, you see it's basically in the wrong place. So you don't do that in the columns. You don't place it there. You actually place it by moving it, as so, shifting to wherever you want to put it to. And there it goes. And then you can take the units and do the same thing. You can shift it down and put that where it's, And you can go in and you can size fields or size the width of it. And there you're done. Now, I have a, uh, an empty column field for some reason, so I just go back in the columns, and sure enough, there's a blank one there. So I just go click on that and click on the X for delete, and then the power button again, and it's gone. So now I've added the removal cubic feet to that. All right, now that you've set up uh, the estimating view with the columns you want to see for your uh, Excel export, you need to remember one simple rule. Anything that you hide in this view will be hidden from the export. Now, I have assemblies, so I have what parent-child relationships, and that's why you see these little minus uh, symbols next to it. If I click on that, it basically uh, uh, eliminates or restricts the view of what I'm seeing. So the first thing you always want to do is click on Expand All, and then anything you don't want to see, for example, at the bottom here, I've got another group, and I'm going to minimize that. That will not get exported to Excel. So what you see in this view is exactly what is going to go to Excel. Simple rule to remember. So once your integration has been set up and you've, and you've tested that, and you've got your view good, go ahead and click Export to Excel. Now, a window may open automatically on your computer, and if you're running multiple monitors, you may see it on a different monitor. But worst case, you go down and click on the Excel icon at the bottom of the screen, and you'll see that uh, an Excel spreadsheet is opened. 
it will normally look like the view you had in the estimating uh, tab. Uh, if it doesn't, sometimes as it's Excel's exporting it, you'll find that it hasn't uh, basically widened out the columns enough to see what you've uh, all your uh, values in there. So you may have to manipulate the columns a little bit uh, to look at it. And it should represent exactly what you had in your estimating view. Now it will export values only. So don't expect your price total field, for example, to have uh, a formula in it. A formula being quantity times price each equals price total. It doesn't export any formulas. So if you are going to manipulate that later, you may find you need to add formulas back in to give it some functionality that it automatically had in PlanSwift. But the idea here is pretty simple. What you see in the estimating is what you're going to get in the Excel export. We hope you enjoyed this short on Excel integration. See you next time.